So what is a string on a box? Here you have it. You have a box with a stick glued on top and on that a guitar string. It has frets that are made out of coffee stirrers. These are the frets. And it's tuned like a mountain dulcimer. On, if you, we flip it over you'll see that the guitar string is attached with a staple or a U-nail and the ball end goes there and we come around to the front we go across pass over the bridge here and then all the way down to this end this is the nut and then we attach the string to a um, eye screw and tighten it up and there we have it now you can make a double string on a box also this is the one that was in the video that you just saw and um, it's exactly the same except that it's on a bigger box and this box is kind of neat because it has a drawer that opens. I thought that was cool. It came from Tivana. It had a T set in it. Um, so let's play a little. And there you have it. Now you can also have a string on a box that's decorated and this one's been decorated it's very similar to the other one um, so let's play a tune on it for you smoke on the water these are the things you'll need to make a string on a box um, some sort of a stick and you could have different ones there's a couple of different ones you'll need an eye screw and some u-nails you could also use a staple gun a pencil coffee stirrers wooden coffee stirrers scissors a template and this will be used to mark where the frets will go. You'll need a pair of pliers and a hammer and some glue, Elmer's, and uh, this tacky glue works really well too, Aileen's tacky glue, and sandpaper. You'll also need a box. So here are several different ones. Um, might be a box left over from a gift you received. Uh, this is a priority mailing box. You could actually get these um, at the post office for no charge. Um, larger box and there's also a large priority box so some sort of box you could also use a paper plate and a circle of cardboard that you've cut out it helps to have it be sort of thick uh, corrugation it makes a nicer sound if you are using paint sticks these are from Lowe's large paint sticks you'll need to glue them together to make the board thick enough Spread the glue out a little bit. Line these up. Put my books on it. You can also use clamps to glue it together. Glue together your circle and your plate. If you're using this method, and set that aside to dry. Sand off any rough spots. Be careful not to get a splinter. Wipe off any extra sawdust with a cloth. This board has a curve in it. I can tell because when I lay it down, I push on one end, you can see it. it's like a little seesaw. So you, then I'm going to tape on the template. The little curved out end here will be where you have the frets. So we'll put this on. and mark on each side of the mark with your pencil. And don't forget the one down at the end. That's for the bridge. Now remove the template and to save it to make another one. Cut the coffee stirrers to make frets. You want them to be a little shorter than the width of the board. So you need 15 of these. 
Now we're going to glue the frets onto the fretboard on each one of these marks. You see that? I like to use Aileen's Tacky Glue because it's better, the, the frets don't curl up when you use this kind of glue. Glue them on. Try to center the fret on those marks. This is the bridge end and this is the nut end. So at the bridge end we're going to glue three stacked on top of each other. Make sure it's centered on that mark. I'm going to go back and press all of these down really good. Cut one last coffee stir and glue it on the end, on the nut end, right up close to the edge. This is going to keep the string from digging into the wood. And glue one at the bottom here also. So two coffee stirrers glued on there. While the glue's drying, you can take your box, whichever box you're going to use for your string on a box. This is the size for a small one. Um, or you can use a large box. And if you do a large box, you can put it in center, or you can make a double. We'll turn those opposite ways when they're so two people can play together. Um, so you can decorate your box while the glue is drying. This one could also be decorated. I like to use colored tape to decorate with, and then that'll go right like that. You should mark where, where these are going to go, and leave that space open. This box happens to open up, so I'm going to leave it so that it'll still open. So when I decorate it, I'm going to not tape over that part. Sometimes the frets are a little bit too long and they might catch on your hand as you try to play. So you can use a utility knife to cut off, or some sort of knife to cut off those extra edges if they stick out. Um, then you can also sand down the edges of the frets so that they're nice and smooth. Now that the glue is dry, I'm going to flip this over and hammer an U-nail at this end and an eye screw here. This is just to get it started, a few taps. Get the pliers and tighten it up. Usually put it in about three turns, maybe four, with enough space left to put the string under. Here's a different option. This stick is one solid piece of wood, so you can put the screw right in the end and the U-nail right in the end rather than on the back like we did for the others. Put some tape on this eye screw and thread the string through here. Pull it up over the top. I usually hold it a little bit while I Go around in. And I'll make sure the string is um, parallel to the sides as you tighten it up here. Right through the tape. The eye screw. Pull that. Now I'm going to make sure that this is parallel. There we go. Now I'll wrap it three times around the base of the screw and then stick it back through that hole. Check again to see if it's
parallel to the edges and take the pliers and tighten it up. Try not to twist it side to side, but just go in. And let's see what it sounds like. A little tighter. Usually it tightens up to a C, C note. Not quite tight enough. So we'll tighten it up a little more. Pretty good. I'm going to cut off the extra wire right up to the eye screw. It's important to put a piece of tape wrapped around that so you don't stick yourself with that wire. I like to wrap a lot around there. Fold it over. Put a little bit on there. Next is to number the frets. This is the nut, so it doesn't, it's not a fret. So this is one, two, three, all the way up to ten. It's best to use a Sharpie marker, that way it won't wash off. The optional thing you can do is add an extra fret between six and seven, and we'll call that the six and a half, or six plus. So the way you do it is you just take one of the coffee stirrers and cut a little sliver off of it. You want it to be a skinny fret, and you're just going to put it between six and seven. And the way you'll know if it's in tune is if it sounds right when you play the scale. So that's the uh, six and a half. Okay. Now here's a little troubleshooting. Um, I've put the string on both of these. This one sounds pretty good. I'll play it. That one's good, but this one doesn't work so well. It starts buzzing here. So the first thing to do is to add another uh, length of um, coffee stirrer to the bridge. That's the first thing to do. You have to loosen this up first. And put this up under here. And we'll see if that fixes it first. Tighten this back up. That was buzzing. So we can add uh, one more fret to the nut end here. And that should stop the buzz. Other thing we can do, let's try this, is we can also sand one of the frets. I'm going to sand this fret down a little bit. Just about got it. Now I ended up putting one more fret under the bridge and I sanded these two frets down, but it's still buzzing a little bit. So I'm going to hope that it's going to that it fixes it when I glue it onto the box. Here's the box over here. Um, sometimes when you glue it onto the box, it pulls it down and makes it flatter and it works better. Um, it also makes it louder, of course. <laughs> now I'm going to glue these on to the box. I had saved a spot there where I didn't put any tape and one on there. You want them to be pointing opposite directions so that two people can play at the same time facing each other. And I'm going to weight these down with some books. Now, this one has a box that opens up. You can look inside. We have room to put 
things. You can put your music, more stickers. You could even put some tools in there for making more. Here's how to make a strap for your box. Um, I'm going to poke a hole on the outside. I'm going to open it up and look inside there. There are the holes, both sides. So you tie a little knot on each side and then put a stick in there and pull it tight. I put a little bit of glue on it just so it hold after it dries. And then, outside, pull that, and we have a strap. Here's a box I've decorated. This was the priority mailing box. Painted it first and then put tape on it. And then here is a board that has had a ribbon added to it. Um, I just tied it on to the U-nails on the back. And then I'll glue that on. If you want to make yourself a pick, you can cut out of a piece of heavy plastic and just cut a pick. If you go ahead and put the six and a half fret on, you'll have a little bit more versatility in the songs you play. This is De Colores. It uses the six and the six and a half. show you a few of the other instruments. This one is made out of a can and you can even take the back off of it and put stuff in it. 